Hey there, everyone. So I thought I'd come here and uh, do a video in respect to Mark P's 500 sub contest. Um, I was thinking about doing this, kind of forgot about it, and then uh, I was watching one of his uh, news videos, or actually his news video, that reminded me of that. So I just thought I would just, instead of stalling, I would just go ahead and do it. Uh, congratulations, Mark. Um, I think he posted 600 now. Congratulations. So, what's playing in the background is CCR, bootleg, live in USA in 1971, 1971. So, he had a few questions, um, favorite box set, I don't have many, but, um, oh, and Rob, right, you're going to like this first one, Rob in Boston. Zeppelin. This is a really good. Um, not only is it is it my favorite box set. Um, I just thought it was well done all around. Um, Jason Bottom, uh, John Bottom's son. Um, his uh, his uh, drum playing was just spot on. Um, I think that's one of the things that stuck out for me. So um, that's that's my entry right there. Some of these I didn't really cheat, I adjusted. Um, favorite album from favorite band. Some of these are going to be obvious. Everybody knows what a big CCR fan I am. Uh, I have a couple of entries for this one. This is uh, going to be John Fogarty's. It's actually a 1997 album, but this was actually it just released last year uh, for the first time on vinyl. Okay, this is my absolute all-time favorite um, album from him, from his solo stuff. Okay, it's one. So, my favorite CCR album is going to have to be really the Bow Boys. Okay, this is. It's, it's almost it's an almost perfect album. There are a couple tracks in here that that don't do it for me. Um, I'll tell you the tracks that make it my favorite album. Uh, Down on the Corner, it's my favorite. I actually have a video of um, John Fogarty's concert last year. I think it was February of last year. Um, I got um, Down on the Corner, him uh, doing Down on the Corner um, in you know complete the complete song. Um, I was really stoked about, about getting that. It's my, it's my favorite song that he does, and I was, it was nice that I was able to get the complete song uh, on, on video. And it's uh, if you're interested, you go for it. It's, uh, it was at the MGM Grand Fox, which in uh, Connecticut. Um, it came out of the sky. When I hear that song, um, it, it, I just like jump out of my seat and I just I just sing along to it. It's such a, such a great song. Cotton Fields, is a great, great, another great song. Um, Flushing the Sun, obviously. Um, don't, don't, yeah, don't look now. Uh, it ain't you or me. Midnight Special, obviously. Um, there's like three, or four songs on there. Don't really do it for me, but that's my favorite album from CCR. Okay. Um, What's the next question? Um, Oldest album to newest album. Well, I just showed, I kind of showed a, well, I showed, I did a, um, an album review, uh, and I announced an album review, so I'm not going to show those again. Those were just released last year. Um, so I'm going to show, what am I going to show? Okay, so we'll start with the oldest, okay? Now, I'm pretty, pretty sure I, I, I have some folk albums. I might even have some jazz. Um, I'm not exactly sure where they are right now. Can't, I didn't want to really spend the research to 
find an album to find out it's it's not all of them are obviously they don't always have a date on them so I'm not 100%, 100% sure on them so I didn't really want to waste the time looking and find out it's not so I just grabbed a couple that excuse me oh, um, I knew that were some of my older ones uh, from 1958 plus they're good albums okay the fabulous Johnny Cash from 1958. Okay. It's a 6i. Why do we do that? I don't know. It's a 6i. There you go. Johnny Cash, 1958. Here's another one. Johnny Cash. Um, the songs that made him famous. It's on a Sun label. I've showed this before, it's not a sun label. Yeah, if you didn't see the video I did on it, I'll show you again. Why the hell not? Original pressing, 1958. Okay. The newest album. Again, this is one of my newest ones. Released originally in 1997. Re-released last year for the first time on vinyl. Okay. Um, most bizarre. I don't have anything bizarre per se, I don't think. Um, so what I decided to do was kind of go into left field a little bit and change it up and uh, show the work not, not really I guess the worst album I think one of the worst albums not everybody has a perfect collection I have bad albums as everybody else does but this one was I was disappointed I was disappointed at how bad it was this is a, it's a comedy it's Cheech and Chong's wedding album I was disappointed how bad this was so that's my entry for that it's just it's just after listening to, I was on a Cheech and Chong kick for a few days, and I was listening to all their albums, and um, I was I laughed at every single one of them except this. This was it was like it, it was done. But well, that's my entry. Um, guilty pleasures. Um, well, I have a I want to kind of do a couple of different things here, um, so you learn more about me. Uh, without giving away too much about my personal life. Um, guilty pleasures. Um, my guilty pleasure is I love collecting bootleg albums from CCR. Um, I look at it as a guilty pleasure, I guess. Uh, I have all of them except I think there's two or three. I'd have to look. I have a list. I think there's two or three I don't have. Um, I consider that a guilty pleasure. Okay. Um, and, I don't know. I just do. I, it, it puts you there in a concert. Um, I enjoy the music and it puts me there, you know. And, let me rewind there too. I meant to mention, I meant to say that this is also one of my favorite, as far as, um, favorite album, favorite band. This is one of my favorites because it, 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 it's, uh, I think it was, the sound was taken right from the soundboard. Um, it sounds, sounds really good. If you, if you were to take the audience away, you, you would, it would probably sound pretty much like a studio album. It's just, that's just my opinion. It sounds good. Yeah. Um, guilty, back to guilty pleasures, um, besides collecting, uh, bootleg albums from CCR and John Fogarty. Um, guilty pleasures. What can you say? Bing Crosby. These are all on DECA, if I remember. That's a, that's a, actually, that's a, that's a Brunswick, but I just think Crosby. Can you say? There's one. Another guilty pleasure. Um, 
Woodstock. Uh, fascinated with it. Um, if I if I could if I could go back in time and and, and to, to, to one weekend or even one day, I'd go back to this day right here. This is um that's my guilty pleasure. The movie, <clears throat> the movie more set more so than the soundtrack. The soundtrack is, is fine, but just seeing um, the variety of people. Um, that's you know, variety of people. Um, you know, there were one or two deaths um, by accident. One, one, one kid got run over by a tractor. That was a total mistake. Um, that was just a sad story. You heard about that. Um, there was a birth. Um, but so much went on in, in this weekend. Um, I, I enjoy watching the film because just seeing how all these different um, people uh, uh, interacted, and um, it was a pretty peaceful weekend. Um, all the other Woodstocks that followed, um, I don't call them Woodstocks, um, or they call them the Woodstock uh, concerts. No, there was too much chaos. But this one right here, this is this is my guilty pleasure of Woodstock. Um, I try to watch it every year on the anniversary, <clears throat> in which is, <clears throat> and I didn't realize this until after I got married. Actually, I my the weekend we got married, my wife and I got married. Um, it, that's actually the anniversary of Woodstock, so it's easy for me to remember our anniversary. It's the anniversary of Woodstock. That's kind of a little fun fact for you that it just clicked in my head. Um, but I I didn't really know about it until after we got married. I didn't plan it around that. You didn't plan it around that day for that reason. Um, but that's pretty cool. Um, what else was there? Um, that's my entry. Uh, I appreciate you all taking the time to watch. Um, if you haven't subbed, sub. Uh, also sub to Mark P's. Uh, I'll put his, his, uh, his link or his name down below. Um, Oh, actually, there actually is one more question, and I think at the time, um, I think he asked, what would you like to see in the future in Mark P's channel, in your channel, Mark? Um, I'd like to see, I don't know what kind of a recognition you have. I know you show a lot of box sets, and I haven't gone all the way back to your catalog to watch your, all your the beginning of your videos uh, yet, but um, I'd like to see, I know you kind of pigeonholed the whole um, box set, which is totally cool. That's it. Everybody's got their thing. That's that's fantastic. Um, I would like to see um, some of your vinyl collection, some of your record collection. Um, you know, whatever. Just I don't know if you want to do favorite bands or just kind of show what you have. You know, I don't know if you have more box sets than you do vinyl, um, than you do you know regular records. Um, but just like to see what else you have. Um, Congratulations on a baby, by the way. Um, made a comment on a video. Um, family comes first, so take care of your family, and I look forward to seeing you on your next video, Mark. Take care. Peace.